Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a numerical on bar bending schedule of beam. In short, it is also known as BBS. So we will see a numerical or a problem on BBS of beam. So let's see first the problem statement. It says work out the quantity of 8 mm, 10 mm and 16 mm diameter reinforcement for a rectangular beam of 300 by 450 mm. The size of beam they have given as 300 mm by 450 mm and they have used three types of bars in the beam 8 mm, 10 mm and 16 mm diameter bars. The beam is reinforced with two bars of 10 mm at top means top bar anchor bars will be of 10 mm 5 then two numbers of 16 mm 5 at the bottom these are two 16 mm diameter bar bars at the bottom and two numbers of 16 mm diameter bars are bent up out of four bars two bars are straight and two bars are bent up at the bottom then 8 mm 5 two leg stirrups are used they are provided at 130 mm center to center throughout the length of the beam and length of beam is given here as 5 meter so they have also given the section here as you can see cross section and they have shown how bent up bar is there anchor bar is there see why i have taken statement as well as cross section because in exam they will only give you the statement or they will give you along with the along with the cross section but if they don't give you the cross section you should also understand from the wordings that the problem statement is so and so and they have given various types of bars so let's solve this numerical see first what i will do i will calculate length of all the bars all the bars first the length will be calculated so first i will calculate the length of main bar that is a straight bar as you can sh uh, see here there are they have given two numbers of 16 mm diameter bar at bottom that is that are those bars that are straight so straight bars are two let's calculate its length i will denote it by l1 so i have put the formula as length of beam minus two times cover plus two into length of hook now length of beam is 5000 that we know minus two into cover why we are subtracting this two times cover because see length of beam is 5000 from end to end but the bar is only up to this point only so what i will do i will subtract this cover so it is just that's why i have taken minus and the cover will be on both the sides on the left side left hand side of the beam as well as on the right side so the formula of L1 I have taken as length of beam minus 2 into cover plus 2 times hook length. Now what is hook length? As you can see here in the bottom, the bar is bent like this. The bar is bent like this. That is nothing but your 180 degree bend. So we will have to add this extra length and that length is nothing but your hook length. So the formula length of beam minus 2 into cover plus 2 into length of hook. So I will put these values. Length of beam we know that it is 5000 mm minus 2 into cover. Cover is 25 mm. So 25 into 2 plus 2 into length of hook. See this type of bend as I told you this is a 180 degree bend. So for this type of bend the hook length is taken as generally 9 phi that is 9 times the diameter of bar. And as it is on both the sides, that's why I have taken 2 into 9 phi, that is 2 times the length of hook. And this hook is nothing but your 180 degree bend hook, that is extra length that is to be added into the length of beam. So after these calculations, the length comes as 5238 mm, that is nothing but your 5.238 meter. Now I have calculated the length L1, let's calculate length L2, that is the length of bent up bar at the bottom, as you can see. They have given that two bars of 16 mm diameter bar are bent up. So we will have to calculate this length also. Formula will be same. The only difference is that we will have to add this bend length. See, so the formula will be length of beam minus 2 into cover plus 2 into hook length 
plus 2 into bend portion because this is extra bend length that has to be added into the length of that bar because the bar is same you can see it is also bend at the end it is bend like this and the hook is formed at the end both on the both side left hand side and right hand side then cover has to be also my subtracted from both the sides the only difference is that we will have to add this bend portion and that is taken as 2 into bend portion now i will tell you what is bend portion or what is the length of bend portion let's put the values length of beam is 5000 mm 2 into cover that is 2 into 25 mm minus sorry plus 2 into length of hook that is 2 into 9 5 9 into 16 5 is diameter of bar that is 16 mm plus 2 into 0 0.42 into d now what is 0 0.42 into d this is the bend portion length and 0 0.42 into d now what is small d i have given here in the bracket it is the effective depth we have to subtract the depth of beam from top uh, sorry from depth of beam we have to subtract the cover from top as well as from the bottom so small d will be 450 minus 2 into cover that is 400 mm so that value is 400 and it is taken as 0 0.4 times 0 0.42 times the effective depth that, that is 0 0.42 into small d that is 0 0.42 into 400 so after calculations it comes as 5574 mm or 5.574 meter now we have calculated the length of main straight bar and main bent up bar let's calculate the length of anchor bars now so as they have given there are two anchor bars that is top bars so formula will be same again it is length of beam minus 2 into cover plus 2 times length of hook because there is no bend here so the formula will be same that we have calculated for the straight bottom bars the only difference is that the bottom portion at the bottom portion the bars were 16 mm and at the top portion our anchor bars are of 10 mm so the formula is length of beam minus 2 into cover plus 2 into hook length length of beam is again 5000 mm minus 2 into cover that is 2 into 25 in plus 2 into length of hook that is 2 into 9 5 9 into 10 because top bars are of 10 mm diameters therefore 2 into 9 into 10 so which comes as 5130 mm in meter it is 5.13 meter now we have calculated length of all the bars let's calculate the length of stirrups now See, see the shape of stirrup is like this as you can see here in the picture its shape will be like this and i have noted i have given the notations of top top bar or top length or top side of the stirrup as a and vertical length of the stirrups as b so why i have taken is this see the length of stirrup will be addition of all these lengths that is nothing but perimeter 2 times a plus 2 times b because see there are two horizontal distances for the length of stirrup and two vertical distances that is a will be taken two times b will be taken two times so that's why i have taken 2 a plus 2 b now what is hook length as you can see here i have given the zoomed view of this bend this is 135 degree bend and there are such two bends that are Two hook lengths are there 135 degree two hook lengths are there one from this side and one from this side so that's why i have taken two into hook length now remember one thing if the bend is of 135 degree the hook length is taken as 12 phi that is 12 times the diameter of bar so two into a now how how will you calculate a as you can see they have given the section the width of beam is 400 so if you deduct or subtract the cover from both the sides that is left hand side and right hand side you will get value of a that is 300 minus 25 from left side and minus 25 from right side that is that will give you 250 mm that's why a value i have taken as 250 mm similarly b value you can take it as total depth of beam is 450 so you will subtract cover from both the sides that is 450 minus 25 minus 25 that will give you 400 mm value of b now value of a and b are known let's uh, put value of hook length so hook length i have told you that it is a 135 degree bend 
so hook length will be 12 phi that is 12 times the diameter of bar 2 into hook 12 into phi that is 2 into 12 into 8 as the diameter of stirrups are 8 i have taken phi value as 8 mm so which comes as 1492 mm that is 1.492 m meter now we have calculated length of all the bars required we have calculated the length of straight main bar bottom bar then bent up bar then anchor top anchor bars then stirrups now one thing is remaining that is you know that top anchor bars are two bottom straight bars are two bottom bent up bars are two but you don't know what are the number of stirrups in the beam so let's calculate number of stirrups in the beam so the formula for number of stirrups is length of beam minus 2 into cover divided by center to center spacing of stirrups plus 1 now length of beam is 5000 minus 2 into cover that is 2 into 25 divided by spacing of stirrups see they have given the spacing of stirrup as 130 mm center to center plus 1 so which gives you 5000 minus 2 into 25 divided by 130 plus 1 which gives you 39 stirrups i have taken it the round value of this number of stirrups so all the values we have calculated now prepare a table like this see it is nothing but your bbs table or bar bending schedule table what i have given here numbers that is serial number one two three four then type of bar we have main bar but it is straight at the bottom then main bar but it is bent up at the bottom then main bar at the top that is nothing but your anchor bar and fourth type fourth type of bar is stirrups the length which we have calculated it is 5.238 for main straight bar at the bottom then 5.574 that is the length of main bent, bent up bar at the bottom then top anchor bar length is 5.13 and stirrups length is 1.492 meter and the number of bars are given main bars are true 2 bent up bars are also 2 top anchor bars are also 2 and stirrups we have calculated the numbers were 39 numbers now what is total length it is the multiplication of length into number so 5.238 into 2 will be 10.476 similarly 5.574 into 2 will be 11.148 and so on you have to just multiply length by its number to give you the total length now I have also inserted one column as phi phi is nothing but the diameter of bar we have 16 mm diameter bars for main main bars that is straight and bent up bar they are 16 mm diameter main top bar that is anchor bar is of 10 mm diameter and stirrups are of 8 mm diameter so that I have entered here and why I have entered here because we have to calculate the weight of bar in kg kg per meter per meter bar per meter weight of the bar and that's for its formula is phi square divided by 162 that is diameter square divided by 162 see diameter is 16 square that is 16 so i will be taking diameter of uh, weight of bar for 16 mm diameter will be 16 square divided by 162 that gives you 1.58 kg per meter so this is the weight of bar in kg per meter similarly you can calculate the weight of bar for 10 mm diameter and 8 mm diameter the formula will be same phi square divided by 162 that is diameter square divided by 162 now we have calculated all the values let's add all the total weight so how you can calculate the total weight it is the multiplication of weight of bar per meter into total length total length for example for main straight bar the total length was 10.476 for all the bars and we have to multiply it by weight of bar per meter that is 1.58 so 10.476 into 1.58 will give you 16.537 kg this is the total weight of bar that is 16 mm main straight bar then bent up bar weight similarly you can calculate by total length multiplication of total length that is 11.148 multiplied by 1.58 which gives you 17.613 kg similarly you can calculate other bars weight that is uh, for example if you want to calculate the weight of stirrups it will be 58.188 into 0 0.395 which gives you 22.984 kg now in the last just add all the weight together to give the total weight of the all the bars so total weight of all the bars will be addition of all these values 16 point something 17.613 6 point something 22.984 something 
so all these values will be added together that comes or that gives you total value of or total weight of all the bars 63.464 kg so this was the numerical on bbs of beam that is bar bending schedule of beam thank you